Yes, villagers, today we're going to be talking about how to lose weight without really trying. If you want to find out if your view is reflected among the four, you are in the right place. If you're new to this channel, welcome to our village. If you're a returning villager, welcome as well. So, let's get into it. Welcome to Garden of the Mind, where we reduce stress, improve our health and fitness, and improve our financial IQ every episode. We must believe Losing weight is a very, very difficult thing to do. We have Oprah who has almost all of the money in the world and still can't necessarily get her handle on her weight. So that shows you how tough it is for you to do. But we got some ways for you to do it without really a whole lot of effort. Tip number one, deliberately eat half of exactly what it is that you used to eat. Now, we know that it can be really tough for you not to eat this type of food or that type of food. All we're saying is eat whatever you want to, just half of it. We've been sold a bill of goods. We've been sold the idea that we have to eat three meals a day in order for us to be healthy. That is actually not true. There are people out there who eat one meal a day. As a matter of fact, there's a whole community called OMAD. O-M-A-D, one meal a day. And these people go out and they eat one meal a day and that's all they eat. They might snack in between, but they only eat one meal a day. Why am I saying this? The reason is, is that we are conditioned in our mind to believe that we have to eat three meals a day in order for us to be healthy. And I don't believe that is the case. Tip number two, drink a glass of water before eating any meal. If you drink a glass of water before drinking any meal, that glass serves to fill your stomach in the amount that food might have and tricks your body into believing that you are closer to being full and then you probably won't feel the need to eat more. So by you having a glass of water before your meal, your stomach already has the feeling that it has something in it. And then when you eat, there is less room for more food. So it's kind of like a psychological way of tricking yourself into believing and eating less. Tip number three, stop eating after 6 p.m. Now, we've been conditioned to do so many things around food. A good portion of us losing weight is not necessarily the exercise or the foods that we eat. It's just reconditioning our mind to see that we don't have to continue to do the things that we've always done. We can break the traditions that are keeping us at a particular weight if we wanna to go towards another weight. Now the way the body is made, it's made to work with gravity. So. At the top of your digestive system is your mouth and things go down, meaning gravity is helping to pull those things down as you are standing or sitting up. If you are eating after 6 p.m. or worse, close to bed and you lay down after you've eaten, now gravity does not have the opportunity to work on your food in the same way. Now you're laying down on the bed and the gravity is pulling at your back as opposed to working through your system. So you end up having to work a lot harder in order for you to digest your food. Tip number four, avoid things that come in packaging. If something comes in a package, that means man has done something to it and altered it in some way, shape or form. Normally, if that is done, there has to be chemicals that are applied to a product so that it can be fresh by the time it gets to you. That means chemicals are treating this particular food and when you have chemically treated food, those chemicals don't just stay active on the shelf. I believe that in your body they also stay active. So if you're eating plenty of different foods that come in packaging, take a look at the ingredients and see the different chemicals that go inside of that food. Now multiply the food that you ate all day by the amount of chemicals that are inside that food and you get an idea of how many chemicals you are introducing into your system. 
Now we can go all kinds of places with that one there. First, as we're talking about different diseases and other things that make us more predisposed by eating these packaging food, why not try to eat fruits and vegetables that come straight off of the tree? Granted, they may be treated with pesticides. You would find ways to wash them or decrease the amount of chemical intake that you have in your daily intake of food in general. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you want to know when I post, which is Wednesday, and I apologize for last Wednesday, please click on that notification bell. You get that ding on your phone, and you know that a new video is waiting for you. And remember, thoughts are actions, words have power, and actions have consequences. I'll see you next week. I'll see you then.